We, we cooking with grease? Yep. Baking grease? Or regular grease? Peanut oil. Peanut oil. All right. What did I do? Oh. Six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Bobby again here from Tuck Fly Shop. Um, just continuing the series here on the good, better, best as people are getting into the sport or maybe upgrading. So the better category would be maybe an upgrade from that good category. So if you want to see before you watch this one, if you want to go watch the good uh, category of, of getting into fly fishing, Justin here is going to put a little box thing up here where you can click on that and go watch that video. So we're going to get into the better category. And as I mentioned in the good one, we're not going to go over terminal tackle stuff um, as that kind of depends on where you're fishing species you're going after. So that price is going to change a little bit. We'll mention it at the end just for give us kind of a price point reference. But overall, we're talking more about just the, the, the main focus of equipment that you need. If you're getting in at the better price point or you're upgrading from your good stuff to maybe a better, better rod, better weighter, stuff like that. So that's kind of where we're going with this video just to do that and then we're going to make one more video of the of the best stuff um if, if you just want you know the highest quality um the coolest looking all that good stuff so um let's go ahead and jump in here we got the the boots so these are the sims flyweight boot they come in at about 200 bucks um it's a great boot i think this is the vibram sole they also come in a felt sole um so depending on where you're fishing you may or may not be able to use felt where we're at here in Western North Carolina, felt is totally cool anywhere you go. So, you know, that's kind of a preference thing for you guys to decide which, which way you want to go, felt or uh, Vibram rubber sole. But uh, $200 price point, you could probably be in that 180 to 230 price point for kind of the better boot. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, the good categories for that angler is maybe on the water, you know, a dozen times a year. This is probably somebody that's going to fish once a week. So, you know, 52 times if you want to do it once a week, 52 trips out to the water. So you're probably in that, hey, I'm going once a week, live close to some water where I'm going to use my boot and waders. Um, now, you know, you may go fi fly fishing once a week, but you live in Atlanta. You may not be going to the to the, the hooch to fish it for trout. You may just be fishing bass and you're not even putting on your waders and boots because you're standing on a boat on a lake or something. So you can't factor that into going fly fishing in your boots and waders. It's really the wear and tear on the waders. So. If you think you're going to fish that much, this is probably the price point you should start at. If you're upgrading because you started at the good and you're like, man, I'm going more than a couple times a month. I definitely need some better waders and boots. This is a good price point to be in. So a couple hundred bucks for the, the, the boots is a good place to start. Um, Orvis has got some, obviously Sims. So there's you know, corkers. Um, those are the three that we carry. So you've got, you've got some options there depending on styling and what you like. Next is the waders. So these are the Freestone Zs. Um, they are coming out with a new Freestone in the spring of 23. Uh, as, we vid as we're videoing this today, this is uh, December of 22. So um, this, the new Z waiter will not be out until the fall of 23, however. But this is the Freestone Z. This comes in at 400 bucks. So this has got a zipper front. Um, the only reason I, we pulled this one is just because of the price point. For kind of the better category, you probably want to be in that 350 um, maybe up to $500 for that better price point, maybe a little bit more, maybe even 550, depending on where you want to be. Um, but you know, that's a good price range to be in. Again, this is probably for somebody that fishes at least one day a week, maybe two days a week, but I wouldn't say two days a week throughout the year. It's just, you know, the way these things are built, the layering they have, the seams they've got in them, they're kind of built for that angler that, you know, isn't out there every day, but it's out there quite a bit. So Good price point there. Orvis has got some in this price point. Um, you know, the, the, the Grundens, which is coming out next year, which we'll be carrying, they're in that higher end of this price point at that five, $550, $600 price point. But it's a good kind of middle of the road waiter. Um, good quality. Um, again, all this stuff's gonna have the warranties on it, which is super important when you are getting into anything. 
Um, if you buy it, make sure that the, the manufacturer is backing their product for any manufacturer defects or anything like that. So super important to know that. Um, I forget what the statistics there are on waiters for Sims, but it's like less than 1% have a manufacturer defect. Like it is super small. So it's very rare that you find that in there. Um, next, let's go on to Rod and Reel. So this is an Orvis Recon. Comes in at $600. We're not going to get into sizing and stuff like that, but it's more just the price point. So this is a good kind of better category, middle of the road rod. Um, this is made in America, which is cool. Uh, so it's a, it's a good rod. It's been out for a few years. Uh, I think they updated it like two years ago and, and um, upgraded some of the components and stuff in it, which is nice. So $600 rod. We got the Orvis Hydros reel right here. Again, comes in different colors and stuff. We just grabbed the silver, but you got black and like a kind of an olive color. And I think this year they actually have a blue coming out also. Um, this comes in at $280. This, this does uh, go up in price if it's a larger reel. So it might be 10 or 20 bucks more. Um, if you got like a six weight rod, you're probably going to have a bigger reel than this. But just know that that's kind of the price point you're in. It's probably in that 250 to 300, 325 price point for kind of a, a, a middle of the road better. Uh, category. So good reels there. The one thing I don't have here is the fly line. And you know, on the on the last video, we, we talked about a combo. It came with fly line and everything on the combo for that entry level. But this doesn't. So that's, again, a personal preference. What you're fishing, species you're fishing, where you're fishing, all that stuff's going to kind of come into what fly line you pick and the terminal tackle from there. So we're not going to get into that. But that's the reel, the hydros. We'll set that bad boy right there along with the rod. You need a pack. Need a pack for all this stuff. So um, this is my favorite pack. I've had this man. Sims or Sims. Uh, Fish Ponds had this pack out for probably gosh, six, seven years, maybe eight. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um, it's one hundred and twenty dollars now, and they updated it. There's a a different fly patch on the inside of it that's silicone rather than foam um, that went up. But this thing started out at one hundred dollars, and it's only gone up twenty dollars in like I said six, seven, eight years that it's been out. So it's a fantastic pack for your money. It's, I don't want to get into a pack review here, but it does have the, the sheath so you can slide your long handled net down in it, which is awesome. Um, it's got all the little fixture points and everything for 120 bucks. You're basically, I'm going to show you this because this is what I show people when they come in the shop. You basically kind of get a small fly box with it. That patch right there um, is basically a half of a fly box if you get a double sided fly box. And this is silicone. So it doesn't rust your hooks as easy as a foam fly box does, and it doesn't tear up like foam does. It doesn't get um, chewed up as you take out hooks and stuff like that. It also will attach to the outside of the pack, which is cool with the hook and loop system there. So with that pack, you could skip this next item I'm going to do, for at least to start out. You know, you don't have to have this next item since you got that little patch. You could throw some flies on that and make a day of the fishing pretty easy. Um, so the next item on here is a fly box, which we mentioned in the last one. This one costs about, what, $8, $9 more than the last one I mentioned in the video. So this is a $35 fly box. A um, little beefier construction uh, than the last one I showed you. These, these Umqua fly boxes, they actually, back when they came out with these, I want to say it was like 2017 or 18, they actually drove a Jeep Wrangler over them to prove how strong they were. So they ran it over with a vehicle. Um, so pretty cool box, pretty durable. Uh, most of them are see-through like this. They come in different colors. Uh, this is just a single-sided fly box, so it's really thin, which is nice, um, you know, depending on what you need it for or whatever. Um, good fly box there. So, uh, you know, fly box are one of those things you can spend $10 on kind of an inexpensive one and to get one that's waterproof and all the bells and whistles in a fly box, um, you can probably spend 50 bucks or better. So 35 bucks kind of puts us in that middle of the road again, price point. Um, Good fly box. Comes in different colors. You know, this is more of like that NC State. We're in North Carolina, so NC State red. If you're that guy, uh, you might like that as a personal preference. Oh, what do we got next? Net, net. So when you catch the big old boy or girl fish, you need a net. Um, this is a nice wooden net. It's actually really well construction for a mass-produced net. Um, this is an Adams-built net. Comes in at $99. Um, you know, like I said, everything's smooth. There's no splintering or anything. It's, Good net. So if you're more of that, hey, I like that natural look and the wood and stuff like that, this is a great thing. The one thing this doesn't have that the, the net before on the on the good video had is this one doesn't have the bungee retractor. So you would need to probably have some type of retracting system put with this. 
Um, again, that's gonna be personal preference. There's retractors, there's zingers, there's bungee cord style, there's the magnetic style, there's all different styles. Again, that's a whole separate video of going on the different type of net keepers that you can put on your, on your vest or your pack or the back of your waders. If you get a higher end waiter, they got a spot where you can hook a net on them. Um, so yeah, net, that's a good one. Again, go with the rubber basket. Any net you buy, always go with the rubber basket. Uh, it's better for the fish. It's easier for you when your hook gets lodged in there. It doesn't get stuck in it. It just hooks it and you can easily pop it out. Um, so it's better for you, better for the fish. It's a win-win all around. So that's the net there. And then I've just got a couple of accessories I didn't mention in the last video, because again, I was trying to keep that price point down for that very entry level person that's like, hey, I want to make sure I don't spend too much. But this, these are almost necessities on the water. Nippers, and this is the Sims nipper. This is the Freestone nipper, comes in at $25. It's made in America. Um, good little nipper, it's super lightweight because it's plastic construction, which is, which is nice. Um, so this is a, a good nipper just to kind of have, so you don't wear out your teeth. You can cut most fish line unless you're in salt water with your teeth, but once you start getting up and, and pounded, you're not gonna be able to cut it with your teeth. You're gonna need some type of nippers. And then hemostats. Hemostats just make it easy to sometimes pop that hook out of the fish's mouth when it's a little bit deeper and you can't necessarily grab it with your fingers. Trout's mouth is fairly large, but it's sometimes if it's deep enough, you can't get your fingers in, especially if it's a smaller fish, to pop the hook out. So these come in handy to reach in there. If you're fishing barbless hooks, Getting a hook out makes it, it makes it really easy. This this pair comes in at twenty bucks. Um, it actually does have a scissor feature just below the jaws there, which is nice. You can possibly do away with the nipper and just get these with the scissors and and get get by with it. Nippers are nice just because you get a closer cut to the knot if it's a knot that you can do that with. So, a couple options there, but figured I'd throw those in there just for you folks so that you know. Hey, there's some accessory items that you may want. There's tons more accessories. If I bought these. I would probably also buy some type of zinger attachment. What's a zinger attachment? It's something that attaches to you, hooks to these guys. Think of the janitor with his keys that come back and forth on his belt. That's what a zinger is, basically. That way you don't drop these in the water and lose them. Um, you know, it would suck on a day to drop 20 bucks in the water and you're not gonna get it back. So that zinger, you know, spend 20, $30 on a good zinger for your nippers and your, and your hemostats. It makes all the difference in the world. It's kind of insurance, if you will. Uh, a one-time insurance, basically. So. It's a good way to do that. So this kind of wraps up the better category. Again, go watch the good video. Follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram. You're on YouTube, so you know about that one. Um, come see us at one of the three locations in Bryson City, Silva, Waynesville, North Carolina. Um, also follow us, or don't follow us, go to the web store, flyfishusa.com. Check out the web store. You can also get to that through tuckflyshop.com um, if you just hit the shop online tab. So whichever way is easier for you. But we appreciate you watching the video. Uh, keep a lookout for the next one. The next one's gonna be the best category. So we're gonna show some of the higher end stuff in fly fishing, which I think is pretty exciting. And it's what we use as professionals on a daily. So if you're looking for that, that's gonna be the one that you, you wanna keep an eye out for. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.